Hi there, Ruben here for Native Instruments and in this video I'm going to be showcasing some wonderfully creative NKS compatible contact player instruments, all from Stresov Sampling. These string, percussion and vocal libraries cover a lot of ground, so to show them off to their best advantage I've put together four sketches all in different styles. Fun, short pieces where each demonstrates a few different instruments and articulations. For over a decade, Stresov Sampling has been developing inspirational contact libraries for the professional composer. With products covering many different styles, there's something for everyone. From traditional orchestral instruments to guitars, keys, percussion, far-flung vocals and hybrid soundscapes. The first sketch is dedicated to Storm Choir Ultimate, a majestic choir recorded in Sophia Session Studio. This second sketch showcases the versatile thematics and expressive strings of Aflatus Chapter 1. The third composition is focused on some of Stresov Sampling's extreme percussion libraries, including orchestral percussion melodics, delicate solos and thunderous ensemble instruments. The final cue takes vocals from three emotive performers collections, including Orthodox and Gregorian choirs and a solo female voice. Throughout the video I'll be demoing lots of patches and showing how I've tweaked some of the parameters to fit the sketches. However, I've played many of the instruments straight out of the box with little to no processing, and that's the whole philosophy behind Stress Off Sampling's collections. Raw sounds that perform brilliantly under the fingers, complete with characterful traits that bring these instruments to life. So let's delve into each sketch one by one. I'll play them all in full at the end of the video. This is Storm Choir Ultimate, Stresov Sampling's 20 piece chamber choir, plus additional soloists and effects. This library is designed to go loud, but can also handle more delicate moments. A wide range of patches can be previewed via contact or complete control. Diving straight into track one, I've used the performance patch at its loudest dynamic, with this male and female combined patch perfect for sketching ideas. Up to eight syllables are easily selected and played, and the men and women have three keyboard playback layouts, divided, in octaves, or normal which overlays the notes that they sing together. You can solo each sex and choose your combination of three mic positions. I've chosen Decker and Hall. With these two tracks, I've used separate patches for men and women. R's from the men and O's from the women, using the mod wheel to ride the three dynamic layers for little movement. Many Stresov libraries feature polyphonic legato that plays automatically when selected, making instruments and voices sound as realistic as possible. Next up, a male and female patch again, this time using the Silly Builder engine. Twenty-four different syllables can be chosen, cross-faded and linked to create your own bespoke sounds.
In this case, I've simply chosen a couple of staccato sounds that repeat. For a more in-depth look at what the Scylla Builder can do, these four tracks are a good example. Each one is a separate solo voice, playing a combination of sustain and staccato syllables. We begin with just the soprano, then the three lower voices are added. This was easy to put together as one side programmed one voice, there's an option to save the Scylla Builder sequence and import it into other patches, so that's a very speedy workflow. There are a wide range of options to tweak each syllable's playback, including volume adjustment, which I've used in the bass part to prevent some sounds from poking out too much. These four voices each introduce a little more of the close mic to focus the sound, and they're panned across the stereo field. These last two tracks showcase a few of the male and female effects, whispers and shouts, useful for adding texture and power to your tracks. For the processing, it's just a touch of lush reverb from NI's RC24, an absolute classic which sits nicely alongside the onboard reverb that the patches already have dialed in. There's also some EQ, compression and limiting, courtesy of Isotope's Ozone. Next up, a sketch that features strings from Aflatus Chapter 1. This is not just any old string library, but a collection of interesting techniques and characterful patches for moments when your stock strings just aren't cutting it. Many of these sounds will be familiar to you, techniques taken directly from famous film scores and concert performances. With 200 playable patches, the capacity to build your own soundscape is quite astonishing, with entire ensembles, sections and soloists recorded in three mic positions. I've only had the chance to use a few of the sounds in my short sketch, but the breadth of styles on offer can be heard with just a quick whiz through the NKS previews. Let's begin with these five tracks that play unique short articulations, often doubled with other instruments. Mouse strings is a nervous pizzicato. Witch Hunter combines spiccato strings and some ethnic shorts. 
avant-garde is a small string cluster, very dramatic. Undercover plays low string staccatos and saxophones alongside two pianos. Warrior is a combination of double basses, male shouts and percussion hits. And all together... This next track is a Jaws style marcato, basses, celli and two pianos. Moving on to some of the longs, Spider Violins is a very nervy patch, featuring a little bit of detune and noise. I've used mod wheel dynamics and pitch bend to swell and shape the notes. This sits alongside viola section harmonics, played on their natural strings. I like to add viola for tension as it has a little more body than the violin. Having said that, a tremolo violin section takes over duty on this track. There's more drama with sole ponticello basses, a technique that plays nearer the bridge of the instrument, giving a more stark and scratchy sound. Mod wheel dynamics are used liberally here. Some Strezov sampling libraries contain pad patches, modified from the original orchestral recordings and twisted into inspiring soundscapes. For Aflatus, there are over 40 textures, with mixable stems on these faders. As well as full section and chamber ensembles, Aflatus features several first chair patches of single instruments. This is one of the violins, featuring key switches for sustain, spiccato, and pizzicato. Turn off overlap if you're only playing a single line, a smooth legato that plays really nicely under the fingers. The final four tracks show off some traditional string writing. Some of these tracks use polyphonic legato. So there's violins one, violins two, a legato performance patch covering the cello and viola, and a bass patch. It's also worth pointing out that most of these ensemble patches have the instruments captured in their correct positions in the hall, so additional panning isn't really needed. These long thematic patches are some of my favourites in Aflatus, especially the vintage, mysterious and scene d'amour that I've used here. With some careful composing and blending, they can sound really gorgeous. For the processing, it's very light with a touch of expansive hall reverb from NI's Realm. And some subtle settings via Ozone. Strezov Sampling's percussion is expansive and varied. I've used eight different libraries from the extreme range in this short sketch. Orchestral percussion, darbuka, frame drum, lightning, taikos, two pans, thunder, and djembe. Although these libraries all contain different sounds, the concepts are similar. Deep sampling solo instruments, 
small groups and larger ensembles with plenty of round robins and velocity layers. The engine is almost identical across the libraries, kitted out with 12 zones mapped across the keyboard where you'll load in your chosen sounds. The system is completely customizable and you can mix and match any sounds you like using the onboard browsers. However, there are also lots of NKS presets that preload some popular combinations. There's absolutely no way I'd have the chance to include all the sounds in this short sketch, but I've handpicked a few to show the breadth of scope. The Darbuka options include all sorts of different drum sizes and ensemble combinations. I've used only some of the highest sounding drums here. There are some really huge effects in the frame drum instrument. You'll notice the three mic positions, close, decker and hall. Each also has a stereo spread option for each signal, really useful for tightly focusing the sound or expanding the ambience. The drum in zone 1 has been tightened up further by increasing the transient attack and reducing the transient sustain. These controls are per zone, so you can really get into the detail of the sound with the Extreme engine. In a similar way, I've adjusted some of the zone panning in Lightning Extreme to spread the instruments around. These are higher frequency instrument combos designed to add punch with sticks, shakers, metals, synth percussion and more. Tyco Extreme can sound really huge, so I've used these instruments sparingly. Tupans are a traditional Bulgarian drum played with beta and stick. This collection features a wide variety and it's an aggressive sound heard in many trailer tracks. Thunder Extreme features the usual wide range of dynamic layers and round robins, and some really powerful instrument combos. I've been reasonably restrained in my sketch. Towards the end of the sketch, I've used a few small instruments from Djembe Extreme for a little African flavour. But there are loads more combinations of bigger drums and solos on offer.
these five tracks contain some instrumentation from Orchestral Percussion Extreme, including timpani, church bells, marimba, vibraphone and small instruments. The engine layout is slightly different for some of the instruments, but you still get a wide range of dynamics, three mic positions and full editing options. I've used the intelligent mastering of Ozone to give an idea of what a Pro Master could sound like in just one click. The impact and dynamic EQ modules are especially good at punching up the sound. My last sketch is small but perfectly formed, with just three tracks using libraries from the performers range. These are phrase collections that capture a specific singing style, unobtainable with traditional multi-sampling methods. I probably wouldn't normally combine these three libraries in one composition, but it's an interesting experiment to see if I can get them to sound cohesive. Each collection has a playable octave of sustained notes at the bottom of the keyboard, so I've started out with that. This is the Gregorian Choir. Choose the phrases in the centre here and assign each to a playback key. The root key and various adjustments such as speed and sample start can easily be changed. In fact, towards the end of the piece, I've used only half a phrase. The mod wheel can be used to adjust dynamics via clever volume and filter scripting. This key plays breath samples, great for adding realism. This is the orthodox choir with the same kind of layout. An octave of playable sustains here, and phrases selectable via the browser. Again, the last phrase cuts in part way through and is stretched longer to fit the speed of the piece. The haunting vocals of Diana Mountain Girl are very distinctive, so I've used just a couple of improvisations here. Lowering the close mic position and adding a wet diffuse delay from NI's replica. Processing, it's additional reverb again from Realm.
and subtle EQ and imaging from Ozone. Thanks for watching, and don't forget I've only shown a handful of the sounds on offer from Stress of Sampling. You can see and hear more at either nativeinstruments.com or stressofsampling.com. Here are all four sketches played in full. See you next time.